Right, who wants to start us off with Tony LaRusso? We'll go to the right with Bruce. Tony, uh, what does this uh, do for uh, your rotation and how you look at the, the series now? No, we just push Carlos back to tomorrow and uh, must win so we can get to game five. That's exciting. So I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you used to say, but that game was so long and quick turnaround. I think this is, makes for better baseball tomorrow. But didn't have anything to do with it. It has to do with the weather. So, but we'll pitch that road down. Jesse in the middle, in the back. Considering you, you guys are the team facing elimination, could this benefit you? Um, you know, to pair a pitch two innings, bummer two innings, does this kind of help your bullpen? Uh, I mean, probably some, but. Uh, to pair one, it was was good to pitch the next inning. To, you know, I think all those guys are available today, but you know, common sense is a, a day of rest makes it not so risky. Tony, to your right, Chandler. Tony, last night Ryan to, Ryan Tapera in, insinuated that there was maybe something awry at Minute Maid Park with the Astros, and he alluded to how many, how many times they swung and missed last night as opposed to the two games at Minute Maid Park. Is that a suspicion that you share as well? You know, I haven't read it. I heard something about it when I got here. Um, I don't get into that stuff. No, I just don't get into it. And, uh, you know, I try to remember this is America and players on our side can say what they want to, and I can say, I don't get into it if I want to. I, I think that uh, they're a very good team, and they're tough to beat. That's what I think. Front row on your left, Mark. Tony, along those lines, is just, or I know you said you don't get into it, but does, does something like that bother you? Does it concern you how it could have some sort of adverse impact on the series, that kind of thing? Um, I don't, I don't think it's going to have any effect on the teams playing the game, which is the reason that the division series is, is about, right? So I don't think it's going to have any effect. Um, I think that, uh, I mean, whether it's, you know, when they said there was substance on the ball, there's, there's always going to be something that, that, that will be questioned. and. Uh, I think Major League Baseball has looked into whatever they, was happening and, and they're on top of it, so that's why I don't get into it. And don't, it's tough enough to, uh, to try to play against a team like Houston without getting distracted, so we try to concentrate. Again, on your left in the front. Was there any talk team-wise about? Uh -huh. uh, was there any talk team-wise about some sign stealing going on or anything? I think Ryan just had his own opinion. It wasn't. Well, the, the thing, the thing that's, that uh, the commissioner has talked about, actually, for like when Joe Torrey was there uh, and more active, there were there were uh, issues. You know, that they were being concerned about using electronic stuff. You know iPads and the dugout, all that stuff. And, and we've been warned to stop it. And uh, um, I think that, uh, you know, stealing the catcher signs, third base coaches signs, looking in the dugout, see if you can pick the run defense signs. I mean, that goes on all the time. What you do is you just change your signs. I have a novel approach that, that uh, I remember when I left MLB that I suggest we put an end to some of this stuff. And uh, it's been totally ignored. And when you hear me say it, you'll say, I can see why they ignore it. And it would really, I, I put it on pace of game. I would have the runner on second base face center field while the catcher is putting the sign down. I mean, I really would. And then the umpire should turn around, and then you wouldn't have, have them go through all this thing. And I mean, it's really a, 
because everybody's defending it. Everybody has all these five different, you know, it would, it would speed the game up. Uh, <laughs> where were we? Oh, I won't say who, but the other thought that I had when I was upstairs was uh, I just have an infielder stand in front of the runner, right? And somebody pointed out that the particular team I was, we had, the second baseman was, they could look over them. And that's, I don't think either one was a silly, but uh, I don't think, it, I, don't, I don't like having an infielder stand in front of him because that sets up possible confrontation. I think the easy thing is just have the guy turn around. You stop and think about it. I mean, how many times yesterday did guys reach in their hat and change that? I mean, really is, uh, and some teams, uh, you know, do it legally. They invest a lot of, you know, trying to see what the signs are. If you can figure out what the sequences are, you know, um, I think it put an, it put an end to it, and it's pretty simple. So, but it hadn't gotten past my recommendation. That's what I would do. Far left towards the top. Hey, Tony, you said Rodon tomorrow. You have Lance Lynn back on regular rest. Would Lance be available out of the bullpen tomorrow, or would pretty much everyone be available that's, you know, not a starter? Well, I think uh, uh, Lance was actually in, in, uh, in Spikes in New York for the bullpen last night. So, uh, you know, we always had Kopech as the guy, and we used him last night, so he wouldn't be available today, wouldn't be available tomorrow. So, uh, I think it's. I think Lance would be a guy, guy that has length. Lopez has length. But best case, Carlos gives us enough to where we, you know, just use the bullpen that showed up last night. Any more questions for Tony? Hello, James, towards the center aisle. This really a nice room. I mean, I'm telling you, I was really impressed. I had no idea it was there. Yeah, I guess just following up on that, with um, kind of an all-hands-on-deck situation, do you kind of hold out your Game 5 starter and everyone else is available, including, you know, members of the rotation uh, to work out of the pen, or um, is it just? You mean for, like, like, if we could win about Game 5? Think about Game 5? or like Both tomorrow, Game 4 just, and Game 5, I guess. Well, four, we're down. And, um, you know, you guys, you consider Geo and uh, – and Lynn, but Lynn pitched before Gio, so I think it's better. That, that, you know, like I said, he was out there yesterday. Um, but you got to do anything you can to win and get to the next day. So. We'll go to Scott, the far left corner at the top. Tony, just wanted to get more insight on Carlos. Um, I know Ethan said the other day that he doesn't go 100% in his bullpen, so you're not looking you know, necessarily at the velocity. So for the game tomorrow, will then you be looking at velocity? Like, How will you judge how you know he's going to look for the rest of the game? Will first inning be a big deal for you? You know what I'm saying, evaluation-wise, to see if he's in a better spot? That's a good question, because the answer is, all the things that you evaluate every day, right? And that is, I mean, a guy could have his stuff in that day, his arm's got more life or it's got less life. You know, you, you factor that in and you factor in command. Uh, you know, velocity uh, has been a big plus. I mean, Carlson can go from 94, 95 to 98, 99, you know, with, with command. But uh, guys, pitch effectively with 92 or three if you move the ball around and you have a break him on a changeup. So uh, I think it would be better, the more velocity he has, you know, more, you know, the more, the better his chances are of getting a, a line like that, like that out. But just, just why, I mean, I have, he's saying that he feels better and he's, and the way he explains it, I'm looking, I think we'll have more than he did that last game against Cincinnati, but just wait and see. But if he has more or less, it's still going to be, if he has more and he's throwing in the middle of the plate, 
it's not better than if he had less and was, and was hitting the spot. So it's that's why it's uh, you know, it's pitching, not throwing. We'll go to Sole. Final questions on the left, in the middle there. Hey Tony, uh, nothing to do with the game, but uh, I was just wondering what your thoughts were on some of the crowd chanting some of the profane chants for uh, directed at Altuve and, and the Astros? Uh, you know, the, the only thing that, uh, here again, it's America, you know, and they can chant fire La Russa if they want to, right? They do it. So I, I have no problem as long as they show up. But the reason that that one, that question bothers me is that the most amazing thoughts that come to mind when I thought about last night and the fans was that incredible support that was so loud. I mean, I've had a couple handfuls of, of people that have called me that watched on TV and said that they could tell. So TV must have done a really good job but if you were here. And the comment I said last night, I looked up, you know, we were all looked up and it was four hours and every seat was filled. It's the damnedest thing I've ever ever seen for a game that, you know, at, at the end there looked like we, you know, we could get the three outs. And so to me, when you mention the crowd, all I can think about is how amazing they were and the, uh, the support and the adrenaline that they, they helped our club with. I'm just hoping, I, I don't know if they take time off and then get here at one o'clock tomorrow or not. I hope they can. All right, Tony, thank you for your time. You want those? I got two more. If you want to no. stay. Yeah, why not? <laughs> we'll take two more then. Uh, towards the top row on the back, and then we'll come back down. The day off. Hey, Tony, I just wanted, I just wanted to clarify. Uh, and Kopech, did you say uh, he would need two days? Well, he wouldn't be available tomorrow. OK. And um, for, for game five, you alluded to potentially uh, Lynn uh, being ahead of G Giolito just because of the sequence, or, or no? No, I think I think you know we have uh, the way we won yesterday. We concentrate on yesterday, so we're going to concentrate on Game Four, and if we're if we can do it, we hope we can. And when that game's over, we'll look at Game Five. But what I said was that Lynn, it's more practical to have him be in the, in the bullpen last night and tomorrow because he's, he pitched today earlier than, but as far as, I mean, we have, may have to use them all tomorrow, who knows? Where is that last hand on this left side? Right here, second row. Tony, could you talk a little bit about Dylan's performance last night and what he might need to work on? Well, there's no doubt in my mind had it been a regular season game that he would have he would have been out there. He would have finished the second man out there, the third four. He did it many times. Uh, one of the most impressive parts about him was if he got off, he got back on it. Just a conversation in the dugout with, with Ethan. Um, I think the leadoff, you know, he was so good in that I think the leadoff walk, you know, to, to a, a club like that, you know, he, and you try to be more careful, and we just didn't have the room to let it go on longer. But, uh, you know, it's, you know, you choose what you want to remember. You got to be realistic about what could be better. I've seen him tweak it back, and what I choose to remember is what he, how he pitched the first inning, and that's who he is. That's where he's going to be his whole career. All right, I think that'll do it. Thank you, Tony. All right.